Welcome to Maths Companion. I am Ramesh. In the last video, we have discussed the first part of the chapter Circles. Let us recall what we have learned in the last class. Angle in a semicircle is right. If we join the ends of a diameter of a circle to a point on the circle, we get a right angle. If we join the ends of a diameter of a circle to a point inside the circle, we get an obtuse angle. If we join the ends of a diameter of a circle to a point outside the circle, we get an acute angle. All pairs of mutually perpendicular lines from the ends of a fixed line meet on the circle with that line as diameter. There were two homeworks. Let us check the answer. First one, in the figure, triangle ABC is a right triangle. If a circle is drawn with AC as diameter, find the position of B. If a circle is drawn with BC as diameter, find the position of A. Let us take the figure at first. Here angle B is 90 degree. Therefore, if we draw a circle with AC as diameter, the point B is on the circle. Now since angle B is 90 degree, the other two angles are less than 90 degree. So if we draw a circle with BC as diameter, the point A is outside the circle. Now the second problem, a circle is drawn with AB as diameter. Find the position of the points C, D, E related to the circle. Let us take the figure at first. Suppose we are drawing a circle with AB as diameter. We know angle C is more than 90 degree. So the point C is inside the circle. Now angle D is 90 degree, therefore the point D is on the circle. Angle E is 80 degree, that is less than 90 degree, therefore the point E is outside the circle. Now let us do the problems of page 42 of the textbook. First problem, suppose we draw a circle with the bottom side of the triangles in the picture as diameter. Find out whether the top corner of each triangle is inside the circle, on the circle or outside the circle. Let us give a name for convenience. Now, a circle is drawn with this line as diameter. Then we know angle P is more than 90 degree, so P is inside the circle. Angle Q is 90 degree, so it is on the circle. And angle R is less than 90 degree, therefore it is outside the circle. Second problem, for each diagonal of the quadrilateral shown, check whether the other two corners are inside, on or outside the circle with that diagonal as diameter. Let us take the figure at first. Let us give a name. Let us find this angle at first. We know some of the four angles of any quadrilateral is 360 degree. This is 105, this is 55, 105 plus 55 is 160 plus 110 is 270. So this angle is 360 minus 270 or 90 degree. That is angle C equal to 90 degree. Now suppose we draw the diagonal AC, then angle D is 105, that is more than 90. Angle B is also more than 90. So when we draw a circle with AC as diameter, both these points are inside the circle. Now suppose we draw a circle with BD as diameter. Angle C is 90 degree, therefore this point is on the circle. 
angle A is 55 degree. Therefore, this point is outside the circle. Third problem. If circles are drawn with each side of a triangle of sides 5 cm, 12 cm and 13 cm as diameters, then with respect to each circle, where would be the third vertex? This is a triangle, the sides are 5 cm, 12 cm and 13 cm. Let us take the two smaller sides that is 5 and 12. Let us find the sum of the squares of these sides that is 5 square plus 12 square. 5 square is 25, 12 square is 144. Adding we will get 169. And this is the square of 13 that is 5 square plus 12 square is equal to 13 square or sum of the squares of the smaller sides equal to square of the large side. We know hypotenuse square equal to base square plus altitude square. Therefore, this triangle is a right angle triangle. So, let us draw a right angle triangle. Let us give a name for convenience. Now, we have to draw circles with each side as diameter and observe where the third vertex is. Suppose we are drawing a circle with ABS diameter. Since this angle is 90 degree, angle C is less than 90, therefore the point C is outside the circle. Now, if you draw a circle with BCS diameter, angle A is 90 degree, therefore it is on the circle. Now, angle B is less than 90, Therefore, if you draw a circle with AC as diameter, B is outside the circle. Fourth problem. In the picture, a circle is drawn with a line as diameter and a smaller circle with half the line as diameter. Prove that any code of the larger circle through the point where the circles meet is bisected by the small circle. Take the figure at first. Let us give a name. Now, AB is the diameter of the large circle and AO is the diameter of the small circle. Also given that AO is half AB. Now, the two circles intersected A and AQ is the chord drawn from this intersecting point. We have to prove that the small circle bisects this chord or AP equal to PQ. First of all, let me join OP and BQ. Now consider triangle APO and AQB. What is this angle? It is a right angle because it is angle in the semicircle. In the same way, angle AQB is also 90 degree as it is also an angle in the semicircle. So, we can say angle P and angle Q are equal. Now, angle A is common for both the triangles. That means, two angles of this triangle are equal to two angles of this triangle. Therefore, the triangles are similar. When two triangles are similar, their sides are proportional or the sides opposite equal angles are proportional. We know angle A is common for both the triangles. These two angles are equal and therefore, these two angles are also equal. Now let us look at the sides opposite to equal angles. The side opposite to this angle is AP and the side opposite to this angle is AQ. So we can take AP by AQ. Now let us look at another pair of equal angles. We know these two angles are equal. Let us look at the sides opposite to them. Opposite to this angle is AO and opposite to this angle is AB that is AO by AB 
or we can say a p by a q equal to a o by a b. Now what is a o? That is the radius of the large circle. And what is a b? That is the diameter of the large circle or 2 times radius. So we can say this is equal to r by 2 r and r and r can be simplified. So we will get 1 by 2. That is a p by a q equal to 1 by 2. Now let us cross multiply a p into 2 equal to a q into 1 or 2 times a p equal to a q. That is 2 times a p equal to a q. This length is equal to 2 times this length. a q is this length plus this length and that is equal to 2 times this length. Means these two lengths are equal or we can say a p and p q are equal. That means this circle bisects this code. Or we can say any code of the larger circle through the point of intersection of the circles is bisected by the small circle. Fifth problem. Use a calculator to determine up to two decimal places the perimeter and area of the circle in the picture. This angle is 90 degree. Let us mark the point where the sides of the square meet the circle that is this point and this point. Now join them. Now this is a right angle triangle and this is the hypotenuse. When we look at the circle this is the diameter of the circle. We know hypotenuse square equal to base square plus altitude square and this hypotenuse is the diameter of the circle. So in this case we can say the square of the diameter equal to 3 square plus 6 square or diameter equal to root of 3 square plus 6 square. Now 3 square is 9 and 6 square is 36. So we can write it as root of 9 plus 36 or that is equal to root 45. Now you can use your calculator to find the value of root 45 and you can see that is approximately equal to 6.7 or 6.70. This is only the approximate value, it is not the exact value. Now when the diameter is 6.7, what is the radius? It is half of the diameter or 3.35 centimeter. Now let us find the perimeter. Perimeter is 2 pi r, that is 2 pi into 3.35. 2 into 3.35 is 6.7. So we can say 6.7 into pi. And we know the value of pi is 3.14. Multiplying it by 6.7, we get 21.04 centimeters. You can use your calculator to multiply. This is the approximate value of the perimeter, not the exact value. We have approximated up to two decimal places. Now let us take the area. Area of a circle equal to pi r square. That is pi into 3.35 square. You can use the calculator to find the square. That is equal to pi into 11.22 approximately. Again you can use the calculator to multiply and you will get 35.23 centimeters square. That is the area of the circle and it is the approximate value not the exact value. Today we have done some problems. Now there are two homeworks. First one. O is the center of the circle. AD and BC are perpendicular to XY. CB cuts the circle at E. Prove that CE equal to AD. Second question. In triangle ABC, angle A equal to 30 degree, angle B equal to 60 degree. If we draw a circle with AB as diameter, 
say whether it will pass through C. Why? Hope you have understood. Do the homeworks. I'll be back with another video. Till then, bye.